Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I'm often called Mitchell and this is your energy forecast, spiritual teaching, and sometimes intuitive development for today, Monday, December the 22nd, as well as tomorrow, Tuesday, December the 23rd, 2014. As always, thank you for taking time to watch the video, retweet, post, subscribe, and to those of you who are supporting me on Patreon.com for this work, which is free to everybody, but I'm giving you an additional video um, here and there, usually about twice a month. Um, I will be putting up the video for healing. That is a little ex more extended version of what I've done here. For those on Patreon.com, you can check out the details below. So today, we just had a full uh, uh, new moon um, come in. So this morning, so whew, everything's new again. Winter solstice was yesterday. Whew, we move into that <clears throat> kind of dead winter time here in the northern hemisphere in the United States. So the teaching for today, um, and it's interesting because this is something that I just like wrote this down a while back and Spirit wanted me to talk about this. And I, in my quiet time just now, I actually was sitting here. And after doing an interview with um, Intuitive Alex from Reunion, which is kind of way east of um, uh, the southern tip of uh, South Africa, um, Reunion is the country or island or state, whatever it is. I'm bad at geography. I was good in math. But he, he talked about angels and he talked about an experience, which you'll get to see that. Hopefully I'll have that done by this weekend. And then he posted a video about these orbs floating through his house. So I was sitting here in a quiet time and I said, you know, angels, I, I work with you. I don't always call you by name or say you're angels. I just encompass in spirit. And I said, you know, gently show me yourselves. And I saw just little movements and shifts and sparks. So it was very beautiful to connect. So I'm inviting them into my work in a more named way. Um, like I said, I know they're always there helping me, but maybe a more identifiable way. So in that, talking about my work, because I was asking Spirit, you know, um, in, in my line of work, a lot of people, we have this discussion back and forth about do we predict things or do we, you know, believe in free will? You know, in the work that I do, often I am predicting, here's the most likely outcome. But I believe that we absolutely are creating our world, co-creating it, and often miscreating it. And I think I think I can gather more of the predictions. Um, and when people are in that crazy rage type, type place, I usually get them miscreating, and I can say, "Here's what you're miscreating," and it's probably get, probably going to happen. But when people are also on their path and they're so aligned and they're so determined, they're so focused where they're going, then that's also an easy time for me to say. This is what I see happening. But pretty much any time I do any kind of, here's what I see, you know, especially in the future, um, I always say that you are co-creating. The moment you hang the phone up, turn the Skype down, walk away from me, you are co-creating it and the energy has shifted. That's why I pull different cards each day because the energy is constantly moving. We as a individual and as a group here on this planet and as a group here in, the, in, in all that is, is co-creating what is going on. So I do believe we have free will, but I also believe that there are things that were, you know, it's like you see somebody with the car keys in their hand and they're stumbling to their car. You don't have to be psychic to know that. They're, they're probably going to get in a wreck. <laughs> they're probably going to barely make it home. There is a potential that they hurt themselves or somebody else. So, you know, sometimes the signs are so obvious that you can just say, that's where you're headed. Absolutely. That path is clear as day. But again, I do believe we have free will and we are co-creating, miscreating, and creating what we want and what we desire. So there's your teaching for today. Co-create something beautiful. So the energy for today, let me go right to the card and then I'll back up with the numbers. So today, the 22nd, ah, we've got the dog again. This dog came up on Saturday. This loyal best friend, Tiffany was actually just barking right before I pulled the card. So she's probably letting me know. I think Fabian let her outside. But so this loyalty, this best friend um, coming into today, the 22nd, as well as the five of coins. So this is probably about someone that's close to you that is probably having a difficult time, struggling with money, feeling down, maybe feeling... Um, uh, ostracized from the family. Whew, that was a good word. Thank you, Spirit. Um, but this energy of today, 22, master powerful number. This is interesting because I'm hearing Spirit say this is the day where you can create something beautiful with this person. You know, and 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 don't jump on their woe is me pity party. You know, yes, your family sucks bandwagon. Get on there. You know what? This is a time for you to learn. This is a time for you to grow. Let's let me co-create something with you. Let's set a beautiful intention together. Because with this master number 22 which is often about emotional heart relationship kind of things. That's what I feel. 
We've got that energy. We've got the 14 of temperance, which is trials, tribulations, struggles. And then the faith card energy comes up with number five. And four is that emperor. So again, that emperor is probably a male, probably a man um, energy that this best friend loyalty kind of person is with you. Moving into tomorrow's energy, which is the 23rd day of the year um, and, and month. And this is 17 stork. Stork popped up recently as well. This is often downloads, upgrades, packages, deliveries. Yes, it can be about babies as well. I'm really being drawn to the stick in the stork's mouth, holding it up like an offering. So this is very interesting. It's almost like you're giving something as an offering. Wow, that's an interesting, I've never noticed that before, but very interesting, like offering to the gods. And then tarot to go along with it, knight of coins. So this is often for me, my interpretation, this young male energy, very earthly, very grounded. Um, this is definitely going to be our Taurus, um, Virgo, Capricorn energy type people. Um, they move slow. They don't. They don't. You think too quickly. You know, they're they're moving. But it feels like someone. This could be a baby boy arriving. You know, and this could be also offering up. You know, saying goodbye to your child. That's moving off, moving away. That offering up. You know, like here, I give them up to the world. <laughs> But the energy of today, 23, which boils down to 5, that's that faith energy we talked about just briefly. And then also all the numbers add up to 15, which is our devil card sometimes being stuck, trapped in place. Also, it adds up to 6, which is the lover's card. So it definitely feels like there's some kind of arrival. It could be a heavy, earthy kind of a package as well you might receive tomorrow. But we're also coming, and I love that we've got coins, coins, coins. We've got arrivals. We've got friends holiday weekend here in the U.S. and that definitely um, makes sense to me because that energy of coins is about family. So I had to get a sip of coffee in. So all that being said, um, check out intuitivemessenger.org. The full spread is still up. Given about seven to ten days to get those back to you but it's still available to at least the 31st. And for those of you who have purchased them, um, almost caught up. There's just about two of you that I would hope to get to over the next few days so you have it for Christmas. And I do have some opening spots this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Typically it's between 9.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want a Skype, phone session, um, or uh, what is it, FaceTime, we can do that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have an amazing day. Namaste. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.